The goal is to increase entry into the housing market for low to medium income individuals, including youth and young families. The problem that we're facing right now is the housing affordability issue, where people with modest incomes are finding it harder and harder to purchase homes as housing costs have surpassed salary growth in many areas. The specific issue that we're looking at is the supply limitation. As indicated by Alfred Marshall in his theory of supply and demand, suggesting that the prices are under pressure to rise when supply stays the same but demand rises. There's a housing supply constraint as well in Australia where restrictions on land and restrictions on land availability and zoning laws are becoming very strict. So what we're proposing is a policy intervention called Affordable Housing Trust founded by the Australian government. So this trust is a special fund set up by the government to help people find homes they can afford. So how does this work? Firstly, the government would set up the trust. Secondly, aside from the government itself pouring grants into this trust, the government encourages philanthropic contributions and private real, private real estate investments by offering monetary incentives like capital gains tax exemptions, tax credits and concessions on stamp duty. Then the trust managers appointed by the government use that money to build or improve houses that are made sure to be affordable for people with modest incomes. The economic logic behind this intervention is to improve the real quantity of houses that are available, which would be having a direct effect on the housing market as a whole, rather than increasing the demand side of the market, which would drive the prices back up. The long-term impact would be increasing supply uh, that could affect, affect affordability in the long run by dealing with the underlying sources of the shortage. And building a large-scale housing project could lead to economies of scale, keeping the cost down while supplying a high number of houses. We have seen this before in Singapore, where um, Housing and Development Board was implemented. Uh, over 80% of its population were once able to afford housing thanks to this program, HDB. In India, also, we're, we, we're seeing the PMAY program, um, which has approved more than 10 million affordable dwellings by the year 2022. The feasibility comes in from the financial resources, um, that's the focus. The trust needs to be substantially funded and run to purchase land, finance constructions, pay for running expenses and support services. So setting up a sustainable and low-cost financing streamline through monetary incentives is very important.